Up to this point, we have worked with two different data types. We have used a numeric data type in which we use the integer, the int data type. And we've also worked with the string data type in which we use the varchar for string characters. The next data type we'll look at is the date and time data type. The date and time data type is used to store information about date and time. Now there are three distinct data type within this data type. The first is the date, which is used to store information about just dates. The format is we have four digits for the year, four digits for the year, we have Y, Y, Y. We have two digits for the month and we have two digits for the day. Next, we have the time data type, which is used to store time information. And the format for the time data type is we have the we have two digits for the hour, we have two digits for the minutes, and we have two digits for the seconds. And the third data type is the date time data type which really is just a combination of both the date and the time. The format for date time is we have the four digits year, we have the two digit month, and we have the two digit day. And then we have the two digit for the hour, the two digit for the minute, and the two digit for the seconds. The time range for the time is from zero, zero, so you know, just starting from, you could say from midnight up till um, the 23rd hour of the 59th minute of the 59th second. And the 997 is just the a fraction of a second. To see how the date and time data type works, let's switch over to SQL Server and create a new table. I'll call this the dates and times data type. And what we want to do is to create a new table. We'll call the table people. And within the schema of the table, what we want to do is to capture all the three different data types within dates and time. I'm just going to write out the schema and we'll go through it together. So let's create table and we'll call this people. We'll like to have the name of the people and we'll use a varchar, varchar 50. Next, we want to capture the date in which the people within the table were born. So let's call that birth date and we'll use the date data type. And next we want to capture the time that they were born. So we'll call that birth time and we'll use the time data type. And then finally, we want to capture the birth date and time. So really a combination of the date and the time in which the people were born. For that, let's call it the column birth date time, and we use the date time data type to capture that. So let's quickly go through what we have here. So we're creating a new table. It's going to be the people table. We have the name, quite familiar with that data type, varchar. But then to capture the date, we use the date data type. And all we need to do is just type date to indicate that data type. For the time, we use the keyword time, which is the data type to capture time. And then we use date time, which is the data type to capture the date and time within the table. Let's go ahead and create this table. Okay, so we should have that there. 
And now let's insert some records into this table. So we want to insert into people. And we want to insert the name. We we'll also want to insert the birth date. We we'll want to insert also the birth time. And then finally, we want to insert the birth date time. All right. And now let's go to the values. So let's say our first person in our table, let's say the name is, let's say it's Sally Fox. And that's the name. And Sally's date of birth, let's say, is the year. It's 1997. Remember, it's four digit year and we have and then next we have the let's say the month is august 08 and then 08 for the day when we enter date or time values within the schema of the table we're creating it has to be in quotes so similar to how we enter string values in quotes, we have to insert those values, the date or the time or a date and time value inside of a quote. Right, comma, and then the time, for the time we have the hour, the second, sorry, the hour, the minute, and then the second, okay? So we would enter, let's say the hour is 10, and then we have our colon and then let's say the minute is 50 and then the second is 30 okay so that's going to be the time and then the date time would really just be a combination of both so i'll just copy this i'll paste and then you just need a space and then copy this and then paste and we close that and close our bracket all right so we can run this execute let's insert one more record and i'm just going to copy this so we don't have to type out all of that again and now let's change the name let's say Second person is Amanda, Amanda Perry, and Amanda's date of birth, let's say 1998, and we'll make the month 02, and let's say 05. Okay, and the time, let's change the time to. Um, Let's change the time to, and we're going to use the 24 hour count. So let's change the time to 14. So the hour is 14. And let's say 45 and second 30. Okay. And 14 really would just, would be 2 p.m. All right. I have two single quotes here, should be one. Okay, and then we have just the date time would be a combination of both. I'm just going to delete all of that. And then copy the time. And just make a space, and now we can paste the time. Now let's insert this record as well. So now we have two records. Now let's print out our people table to see what that looks like. Execute. All right. So what do we have here? So if we look at our table, we have the, for Sally Fox, we have the birth date showing as the date, just the date. We have the birth time showing as the time. So 10, 50 a.m., 30 seconds. And this is the, all those zeros are just uh, 
those are just fraction of a second and in, in later videos we can see how we can we'll see how to exclude that um, but it, it is printed when we enter the information initially just to show that in, in case we were you know we want to add a value a fraction of a value into that time we're able to do that as well and then we have the date time which is a combination of the date and the time and the same thing for Amanda Perry so this is how we create the schema for a date or a time or a date time value within a table. In subsequent videos, we'll begin to see how we can begin to tweak and use different parts of the date time or the date to retrieve maybe just specific information. If, if we could decide to just retrieve the year, uh, if we want to just retrieve the month from the you know the full date time we can do that as well